today I'm gonna do a bit of a gut test literally I am going to combine this some good old chef boy RD mini ravioli a blood ghost and Trinidad Maruga scorpion a peach habanero, a serrano, and these guys, I've done videos with these before. When these are green, they're still hot. Not real, real hot. I mean, they're not even really hot serrano hot. They're just, but they got some heat. Once they turn red, they kind of taste almost like candy. They're a peanutty, sweet, little pepper love them and this is one of my jalapenos that i grew that's lunch for today i'm also dealing with a couple of kittens sitting right here on the table in front of me and their mama's over there on the floor if they get over here you'll see them and i just opened a beer all of this empty stomach it's what about close to four in the afternoon i believe i got two beers i don't even know one two three four five peppers and a can of this stuff oh this stuff doesn't like my stomach to begin with that's kind of why i'm doing a gut test Here, you can have this over here. Look, no, you can't eat that. There. All right. Beer, ravioli, peppers. Put a little bit of padding in there. Yeah, I'm telling you, this stuff, not a good thing. I, I, I can't eat it. I already know what's coming from the ravioli. Also, something that I really haven't seen it talked about much. I've come across videos where it is discussed, so I'm not the only one, I don't believe. But it's, it's kind of like the cat cramps. It's the fire hose. And fire hose is, best as I can describe it, it's the time, it's only happened to me once. And when it did, this is Biggin. And Biggin likes to get in the middle of anything, food. Anyway, and you can picture this. Fire hose is when the fluids are leaving your body, it's flammable, okay? So that's what I'm kind of doing is an overall gut check just to see if I can hurt myself. We'll get warmed up with the jalapeno. Cat, I'm gonna eat you. Those little jalapenos are very warm. Serrano.
a little bit of warmth. Put some more padding in there. And trust me, you don't want fire hose. Fire hose is just, it's worse than cat cramps in a way. Okay, peach habanero. I got a good one. <clears throat> also, just a note. I've been eating peppers all season so far. My tolerance is pretty high. I did have about two or three days where I didn't eat anything hotter than a habanero. So I don't know if my tolerance has come down a little bit or not. Wash that down, put on the padding in here. Show y'all my chili koozie. Somebody gave me that years ago. I can't remember who it was. I got it. Uh, <coughs> Dang, that was a good habanero. Okay. All I got left is the blood ghost and the Trinidad Maruga scorpion. I know what the blood ghost is like. I eat them like all the time. Let's see. Oh yeah, blood ghost. Don't worry, I'm getting ready to give you the can. Okay. Trinidad Maruga Scorpion. Mmm. I eat these things all the time. And wouldn't you know today when I'm eating the multiple peppers, I got the hot ones. Oh. Yeah, that's, that's a warm one. Chase it with some of this. Yeah, behind me, that's the, the grow table. I still got, I didn't get all of my tobacco plants in the ground. And I decided, what happens if you leave them in those little bitty pots under the lights? What's going to happen? And they're growing all over the place like crazy. I've even harvested quite a few leaves off of them. I have them drying. Yeah. 
Yes, I have created a gut bomb. All right. Over here. You want the can? Go for it. Uh. Whoa. Let me tell you. I am so glad my tolerance is up. Those are some good ones. Oh, this is uh, the main ingredient for the fire hose along with the peppers. You gotta make that all happen, you know. But my tongue's still burning a little bit, but that's about it. I pretty much I'm so used to eating these things, the same peppers all the time, but I usually will eat one pepper at a time. Well, one of the really, the super hots and habaneros and serranos and jalapenos with it. Not three. Oh, oh excuse me. Pepper burp. Oh. Yeah, it's, it's going. you're not going to be around to find out what happened whether the fire hose happens i have to come back later and comment but i'm trying i was discussing the uh cap cramps and fire hose issue with my doctor the other day one of my doctors the pain doctor Anyway, he's never heard of such a thing. Of course, he doesn't eat super hots or anything like that. But anyway, so I decided I'd do an experiment. So next time I talk to him, I can give him more information. But that's pretty much it. Heat's gone. Nose is still running a little bit. Not bad. But that's it. Anyway, I'll let y'all know what happens. Thanks for watching.